Good evening, kids. So, are you ready for today's story? Today's story is based on one of the biblical group of books called the Book of Jonah. This group of biblical books is called the Twelve Minor Prophets. Long, long ago, there lived a man called Jonah in Israel. He was the son of Amittai. and he lived during the reign of Jeroboam the second Jonah preached to his people about God's love and like God Jonah tried to love all people and creatures God had created Oh hello there Hmm It's been a good day Hello are you hungry my friend Hmm I've got plenty of peanuts with me. Come on. You can have this. Don't worry. Go on. You can eat that. <laughs> have a good day, my friend. Huh? What is that noise? Sounds like someone is fighting. It's my robe. No, it's mine. Get away from me. This man is a cheater. He is lying. Huh? Stop. Go away you. Stop it. Fighting wouldn't solve your problem. I saw this first. No, I did. Come on you two. God doesn't like people who fight. It upsets him. Ah! Ah! You see? Now neither one of you gets the robe. You are behaving like someone from the city of Nenova. Huh? No, don't say that. We are not like the Nenovites. Yes, Jona, the Nenovites are enemies of our people. Please don't compare us to them. I heard they stole the goods from one of our traders yesterday. They are the thieves. and the young ones there doesn't respect the elders they are so cruel yes they are very bad people do you want god to think that we are like them no, no. we are sorry jona we will start behaving like israelites from now on good then you mustn't fight any more Jona kept teaching the people about God's laws to the Israelites. That night, Jona as usual was strolling outside his house after his dinner. That was when God spoke to him and gave him a very huge task to do. Jona. Huh? Who was it? Jona. God, it's you. Jona, I have an important job for you. What is it, my lord? I will do anything for you. The people of Nineveh are not obeying my laws, Jona. They steal from each other. The children are not respecting their elders, and men are lazy there. Even the king is corrupt. and he is not taking care of the problems yes my lord the nanowites are bad people they are bad because they don't know about me no one has taught them my laws jona get up and go to this great city tell them i am about to destroy their city in 40 days because of their wickedness me i i can't go to nenova please please give me some other job no you must do what i ask you 
But, but they are the enemies of my friends and neighbors. They are the enemy of my city. You must go, Jonah. In 40 days, I am going to punish them. God, God, I don't understand. God is going to punish the Nanoites. But, but what if we tell them about God and they change their ways? No, I can't let that happen. They are my enemies. Jonah got very confused. He called his friends home and seeked their advice. Hmm, your fear is right, Jonah. I think you shouldn't go there at all. Yes, how can I preach to our enemies? No, you can't. Don't tell them about God. But won't I be offending God if I don't preach to them? Hmm, I think I have an idea. I'm going to hide from God. Ha <laughs> ha, you're joking now. Where can you hide from God? Hmm, I don't think I can hide from God by staying in Israel. I have to get out of here. So, where are you planning to go? I, I will go as far from Nineveh as I can. I will go in the opposite direction so that God won't find me. You can go to Tarshish. It's pretty far from Nenua. Yes, God will never find you there. Hmm. I think it's a good idea. I will go to Tarshish and God will never find me there. So Jonah started his journey towards Tarshish. He traveled through the desert for many days trying to run away from God. And after traveling for many days, he finally arrived at the harbor of Jaffa. Hmm. I've lost the person standing there. Excuse me? Yes. What do you want? Hello. Can you tell me where the ship is going? We are going to Tarshish to buy gold and silver. Why do you ask? Hmm. Can you please take me with you? I too am going there on urgent business. Of course you can. But you will have to pay us once we reach there. Sure, Captain. Thank you so much. Hey, but listen, let me tell you this beforehand. The journey through the sea might get rough. You must. No problem, Captain. I will manage it. So Jonah climbed aboard and they started traveling towards Tarshish. They traveled for many days in the sea. The captain and other crew in the ship did not worship the God of Israel. And instead, they were worshiping idols made of stone. After traveling for some time, the captain saw a terrible storm coming. Ben, watch out! There's a storm coming! <gasps> oh no! I've never seen something like that before! The storm grew stronger and their ship was in a lot of trouble. The ship is going to sink! Throw the cargo into the sea! Yes, Captain. We have thrown away everything that we could find. But there's no use. The ship is sinking. Pray to the gods! One of you pray to the wind god! You, you pray to the god of the seas. And I will pray to the sun god. The men started praying for many gods seeking help. But it was of no use. The storm got worse and worse. Captain! Captain! What is it? I found him sleeping in the room below. He was snoring like nothing was going on. Huh? How dare you? Don't you want to be saved? Pray to the God of Sea for saving us. I... I don't think praying to the God of Sea is going to help you. Huh? What's going on? Hmm... Somebody has brought bad luck to our voyage. Very bad luck. That's right. This is all happening because of bad luck. We have to find out who it is. Else, we are going to die today. Let's draw Lot 
and see who brought us bad luck. Yes, come here everyone. The captain and his crew were very superstitious and they decided to cast lots and find out who brought them bad luck. It's you. You are the one who brought us bad luck. Me? Uh, uh. Tell us the truth. Who are you? Where do you come from? And why did you get on this ship? Hmm. All right. I will tell you the truth. My name is Jonah and I'm a prophet from Israel. Huh? A prophet? Why are you here on the ship? I I worship the God of heaven and I'm running away from him. Running away? So this is happening all because of you? Jonah, tell us what should we do now? Yes. How do we make the storm go away? You you have to throw me overboard. It's because of me that God has sent the storm. Huh? Throw you into the sea? We can't just throw someone into the deep sea. Come on everyone, find all the remaining cargo and throw into the sea. No, no, it's not going to help. You must throw me into the sea. Captain, Jonah must be telling the truth. There's no other way. No, I, I can't do that. Look, Captain, can't you see that his God is more powerful than any of our God? Jonah, I am sorry. We tried everything to save the ship. We now have to throw you out of the ship. I know, Captain. It's me who made God angry. And I deserve to be punished. God of Israelites, we are sorry for throwing Jonah into the sea. Please forgive us. We are sorry, Jonah! As soon as they threw Jonah into the sea, the storm disappeared and the water became calm again. Huh? <laughs> now I don't have to go to Nenova. Huh? What's that? Is that... Is that a whale? Suddenly, a huge whale came from nowhere and swallowed Jonah. Oh! When Jonah opened his eyes after some time, he found himself inside the whale's belly. Huh? Where am I? Huh? It's stinking. Am I? Am I inside the whale's belly? When Jonah realized that he was inside the whale's belly, he understood his mistake and he prayed to God. God, I'm so sorry. I was a fool trying to run away from you. Please forgive me, God. Jonah prayed for three days and three nights inside the whale's belly. And on the third day, the whale vomited Jonah onto the shore of Nineveh. Thank you, God, for saving me. Jonah, now go to the city and give them my message. Yes, God, I'm ready for it now. So Jonah went to Nineveh and started speaking about God. All the people of Nineveh listened to him and they started to change themselves. People of Nineveh, you must leave your wicked ways and obey God's laws. God is going to destroy your city in 40 days if you don't repent. Huh? What he says must be the truth. Yes, we must repent for all our wrongdoings. I must inform this to the king. My lord, a prophet has come from Israel. And he's warning our people that our city is going to be destroyed. Hmm. A prophet? If it's a prophet, then he must be saying the truth. We have sinned gravely. We must do as what he says. We must repent for our sins. We will all fast starting tomorrow. 
for penance. Everyone should cover their body with ashes and wear only rags. Let us pray for his mercy. We must show Israel's God that we are sorry for acting so badly. Send out these orders immediately. Yes, my lord. After Jonah told the Neavites about God and his laws, the people changed and they started repenting for their sins. Jonah then left the city. He then walked to a nearby hill overlooking the city and sat there to watch God punish them. He waited and waited and waited, but nothing happened to the city. I knew it. God is not going to punish them because they repented. Lord, why did you make a fool out of me? You dragged me over and forced me to speak. But now, now what I told them is never going to happen. Huh. Jonah realized that God will not destroy the city because the Ninevites had repented. He turned back and walked into the desert. Jonah walked for many days without food and water. He was really tired. Huh. Huh. I'm so tired and hungry. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you for this plan and saving me. But the next morning, when Jonah woke up, he found the plant dead. Huh? What? A worm had attacked the plant and because of him, the plant had died. You! It's because of you that the plant died. I'm going to kill you now. Jonah. God. Jonah, why are you angry? This worm, it killed the plant which gave me shelter. You are mad because the plant is dead. You are caring about this small plant, but the whole city of Nineveh doesn't concern you. What did you do to keep it alive? So? What do you think? If I punished all the men, women, and children in Nineveh, I made them and cared for them for many years. They never knew about me or loved me until you came. Ah. Now tell me, shouldn't I still care about them? Yes. Yes, you should. Now, go home. Tell your people about Ninove and the plant. Spread my message to everyone. Jonah understood God's message. He returned to Israel and started spreading the message of God's love to everyone. Ha 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 ha! That was a great story, Father. And it was very funny too. I'm glad you liked it. Are you ready for the questions? Yes, Father. All right. Now tell me, where did God ask Jonah to go and preach? To Nanoa. That's correct, Matthew. Why did Jonah obey God and run away? Nanoites were the enemies of Israel. Jonah was afraid that he would be helping Nanoites by telling them God's message. He wanted them to get punished. So he ran away so that he won't have to preach to them. Very good, Lucy. Where was Jonah trying to go? He was trying to go to Tarshish. And did he reach there? No. When Jonah was traveling in a ship, God sent a storm and the sailors were forced to throw Jonah into the sea. Good. What happened to Jonah while he was in the sea? A huge whale came and swallowed Jonah. Did he die then? No, he stayed alive inside the whale's belly for three days. Good, Matthew. All right, now tell me what was the message that God wanted Jonah to deliver to the Nanoites. 
God wanted Jonah to warn them that the city of Nineveh was going to be destroyed in 40 days because of the sins they had committed. And did he destroy the city? No. When the people of Nineveh heard Joshua's message, they repented and mourned for their sins. God was kind to them and he did not destroy the city as he had warned. Haha, <laughs> that's correct, Lucy. Hmm, it's getting late. We have to leave now. Father, are you going to tell us the story of another prophet tomorrow? No, tomorrow I will tell you the story of Job, who was a rich man in Israel and who was also a faithful servant of God. I will see you tomorrow then. Goodbye, kids. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, Father.